Hey guys, RC Flyer 85 here, and today we're gonna to be checking out the Isheen E011 block drone. <laughs> now, if you guys don't know, this is pretty much like a follow up to the E010, aka Isheen's Tiny Whoop. Now, as you guys noticed from the box, you can already tell what the cool thing is about this. Now, me, I'm a little more into, you know, racing quads, but from time to time, you gotta take it back to your, to your roots and have some fun. Like when my wife first saw this, you know, I thought it was like, okay, it's a E Sheen E01, E10 with a Lego figure on top. And I'm like, that's just adding weight, which is the case, but not necessarily. But when she saw it, she was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And I gotta kind of take a step back sometimes and think more of towards the target audience of this, which would be, kids you know preteens teens and the fact that a lego character on there to them may be pretty cool so what do you get in the box you get in the box i have of course a white and blue version so you get the quad here you get a set of spare props and a screwdriver you get the transmitter here little tiny ones that i hate but hey you know probably better for little kids and you get your little lego figure now, Lego figure is some assembly required. <laughs> it took me a few minutes to actually figure out how to put this guy together. So, legs do move, um, arms move, head turns, and of course I just popped off his face mask. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. Of course, this is going to be a four-town quadcopter. So, you're going to have your throttle over here, your yaw over here, or your spinning, your pitch over here which is your forward and back and your roll, which is this and this over here. Um, oh, also you get this 3.7 volt, 260 milliamp battery with the Isheen E010 slash E011 slash E012 plug. Um, so you go ahead and you slide the battery in here. Now, one thing that I didn't really care for is you guys see that clearance right there. You, you pretty much have to slam the plug in, kind of jam it in. You know, the battery's kind of in the way. So just one thing to keep in mind. And of course, to bind it up, you can go ahead and turn the transmitter on after you've plugged it up. And as you guys see, it just auto binds by itself. And we're good to go. So, what do we got? Red lights in the front, blue in the back. Um, you got your rate right here, your rate buttons right here. This is one beep for 40%, two beeps for 100% on your rates. You got your trims over here for, uh, what is it, for roll. You got your left and right trims right here. And over here is if you press it in, and then go a certain direction, that's gonna be your flip button. So you press it in, it's gonna start beeping. Let me see, let me try to show you. Man, well, it's not gonna do it while it's sitting here on the table, but just trust me. That is your uh, flip and roll button. So you can press that in and then press a certain direction. Whichever way, forward, backwards to do a flip, left and right to do a roll. Um, your little Lego figure, of course, slots in on the top up here onto two of these. I guess it doesn't matter which two. I'm not sure why you wouldn't put it in the middle to balance it, though. Um, of course, you don't want to sit down right now. There we go. It's a little firm, but I guess you want a little firm. So, now, what do I like about this? One, it's got bigger motors than the E010, so it's a little bit faster when you're not carrying this guy around. When carrying this guy around, it's about the same as E010. Um, a lot of fun, really stable. All these ducted fan quads are pretty fun, pretty stable. Uh, but the bigger motors are very nice when you don't have this guy on, if you just like flying around. But like I said, the cool thing is about this, get yourself a red one, get yourself a blue one. If you got two kids, or if you got one kid, get your kid one, get yourself one, and battle. Of course, that is going to be the fun of it. Who can knock off whose Lego character first? And I can see lots and lots of time, lots and lots of fun had doing that. 
So that's going to be the big thing about this E010. For me, as a regular flyer, what I see when I see this is potential. These motors are very nice, pretty strong, um, a nice upgrade over the E010. So if it had its own configurable flight board, it would be really, really nice. The pit max pitch angle is a little low for me for really, really fast flying. Um, uh, I have heard that you can bind this with a Devo. So if you have a Devo out there and you get one of these, you can probably adjust the pitch angle a little more, you know, put your maxes past 100 and actually have some really, really nice flights with this. Um, but that's about it for this, guys. It's going to be really nice, short and sweet. Oh, I forgot to mention, it also does come with instructions, in case you guys are wondering. I forgot that part. It does come with instructions. But, yes, nice, short and sweet. This thing does work, does fly, in case you guys are wondering. <laughs> and, yeah, I think I'll open up the garage right now and fly it around real quick, get some video of that. But as far as the review, um, excellent buy. Price right now, $16.99 coming out of China, $17.99 in the U.S. Nice price. Lots of fun to be had with this, especially if you got two kids or if you'd like to fly with your kid and have a lot of fun battling. But that's about it. Let's get into the outdoor flight. All right, so here we are. About to have a little flight test. Let's go ahead and turn on the transmitter. Let it auto bind. One other thing I want to say real quick. I forgot to say, to recalibrate the accelerometers, you're going to do both sticks, bottom left. And it'll start flashing. Go ahead and reset that if it's drifting a little bit. But let's go. This is on low rates. There's a slight little breeze outside. Which just took it. Oh, had a little crash. Hold on. Okay, well, round one in this battle went to the tree. <laughs> Definitely knocked my night off. But that's because it's a little breezy outside and I should have had it in high rates. But let's go ahead and put in high rates right off and let's go fly around some more. And I said, this is not really an outdoor quad, but you can take a slight, slight breeze. I'm gonna show you guys some flips. Get a little closer. Ah. There we go. A little hard recovering out here in the breeze. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and take the take the little uh, Lego guy off real quick. So I can show you guys the full performance without the extra weight of the Lego guy. Lot, <laughs> a lot better without the weight of the Lego guy. These are seven millimeter motors. So like I said, a lot stronger than the six millimeter of the original E010, but of course, these are made to carry the extra weight of the little figurine. Let's try to keep it on camera here. But this thing is a lot of fun to fly around. A lot more fun than just flying the stock E010 because you have, of course you have this extra power from the motors. show you guys a little punch out <laughs> of course it's not much on the punch out but it's got enough power to be a lot of fun especially for the target audience of this quad like I said this is a nice safe quad these all these quads with deductive fans are nice to fly around the house you can bump into stuff no problem and they're nice to, to learn on if it's going to be your first quad or if it's going to be your first one for in the house. As you guys see, 
Turns on dime. It's got nice flight times, especially without the little Lego figure on it. It's still the same battery from the review. Didn't go back and charge it some more. Anyways, <laughs> go ahead and wrap this up, guys. Like I said, if you guys are looking at a toy for your kids, by ages, uh, I don't know, these usually say 14 and up, but probably like ages 7 and up, I think we'll be okay. As long as they're responsible enough. Get a couple of these for your kids. Let them battle it out. Or get a couple for yourself and your kids, or even you and your significant other, your spouse. You guys battle it out. Have a little fun. But yeah, that's what this guy. This is guys. Lots of fun. Small package. Nice flight times. Nice powerful motors. Controls really nice. And yeah. Oh, got a little disoriented there. It's the only thing when you're outside without the leg on, you might lose orientation. As you can see before the flips, it gives itself a little throttle before the flip so it doesn't lose too much altitude when it flips, which is a nice thing. And as you can see, it's got so much power to actually start shooting up a little bit after the flip. It's always a good thing. Anyways, like I said, go ahead and wrap this up. Hope you guys enjoyed. As you can see, it's pretty long flight times. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do drop them down below. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. See you next time.